So, here we are, five o'clock in the morning. We're in Wales. The mission today is Snowden via Lamberry Path. The weather forecast was meant to be absolutely shy all weekend, but it's turned literally last minute. That last night was absolutely stunning. So we've had some lucky weather, but I think later on this afternoon it is going to start snowing. So hopefully we'll get snowed and done and ticked off way before then. <laughs> but yeah, let's have you. So just coming to one of our first gates here. Path to Snowden Summit. It's getting brighter by the minute. I've had to uh, resort to my phone because the GoPro is not in the right settings for the night mode. But there is Snowden right in front of us. As you can see, it is fairly busy with the uh, light trails. Everyone, moon's still out over there. We're about a mile in. Um, yeah, this walk is the easiest out of them all, I think. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You're just following this stony path all the way up towards Snowdon, really. Last summer, I've just been uh, did go up Snowdon via Watkin Path, which is the other side of Snowdon. So right now, I'm on the complete opposite side of walking path so I'm getting totally different views along the way up than I did in summer you've got all these snowy peaks around us that look insane so I've ended up reaching this little mountain cabin uh, probably did something to do with uh, mountain rescue and whatnot yeah Amazing view from here. Now it's letting up. It is insane. And now we've reached the icy and snowy bit, and it is like concrete. So I don't know whether to get my little spikes on a bit further up. I don't know how bad it's actually going to be up there. So, I ended up putting the uh, micro spikes on. And I didn't want to risk slipping. I didn't want anything to slow me down. And these have made one hell of a difference to be fair. So, we'll carry on. So I can imagine it can only get worse up there. believe we've got to get to the top of there. I don't know if you can just mech out the path where my sticks are or up there. Now I think we bend around this corner first and then go up there. But, uh, yeah look at that. The moon just over them little peaks. It looks absolutely amazing. I wish I had a real camera. A proper photography camera. <laughs> because you'd be able to get a decent shot out of that. I feel like this bit, so far as the uh, demanding bit, it's fairly steep hill and it's icy. Good thing I've got these little spikes on. But the view behind me, just look at that. <laughs> Seeing the clouds rolling in from behind. Oh, that's a bit of wind chill there. Just as soon as I took a layer off, eh? Starts picking up, but nice. So, walking under the uh, little train bridge that takes you up to the top of Snowdon, and wow, just look at that. This place is unreal. 
picked up a lot since I took that layer off, so I think I'll have to put it back on. Just can't get a view. Let's get to the top before I'm going to start rolling then. So I've got some sort of flat bit here, but Jesus, that's the path I've been following all the way down. It's uh, doesn't look hard, but it is fairly demanding when you're on these steep inclines. And I've got another one just coming up now. Get some nice views. And there's some of the peaks and the other side behind us so there is the summit of Snowden I've just come here and now we're getting a uh, vision from the other side and it looks out of this world with the clouds rolling through in between the valleys and the peaks it's just amazing it looks a lot better than that side I just can't get over it Peak of Snowden is just peeking around this corner and just a second ago it was covered with a bit of fog and cloud so I do believe right now there's a clear spell so hopefully by the time I get up there we're clear and I can get a lovely view from the top yeah this is insane very windy and started to get busy at the trick point so I managed to get a couple of photos and videos and headed down to get out of the wind. So I decided to boil some water for a nice uh, morning coffee. Clouds are rolling straight past us. summit because the clouds are taking over very quickly so we'll get down a bit but I don't want to follow the same path so we'll take a different route on the way down Lamberry track, the way I came up, and now I reckon I'm gonna head down the pig track. And you can see now the cloud and clack has just come out of nowhere, covering everything. But yeah, you can see part of the lake at the bottom. So I reckon I'm gonna head down this way and uh, see if we get any views, see if we get any uh, nice clear smells. So we're just having a clear spell now. Beyond me, the top of snow it looks insane. This is yeah. I'm glad I've uh, picked the pig track to come down. There's a lot of ice. It's fairly busy. I'm glad I've got the spikes on. Tell you what, these spikes have come in handy because on this way down this track there are loads of people without them struggling because of the ice.
this massive lake. I'm not sure what it's called actually, but over there we've got a grib gotch. If I'm saying that right, but <clears throat> it's a good scramble. I've never been up that way before, but I definitely want to. As I'm walking down the pig track, to the left of me is a grib gotch, and just about there, there's a three people climbing it. <laughs> Nuts and board to do it in this icy weather. So the big mountain right in the distance there. Uh, that's called Moel Sayabod. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. Um, and as we are walking down, we're heading towards Craig Fact and Carrig Gwalch. I have no idea. There's no point in me even saying these names because I have no idea how to pronounce them. But uh, yeah, we're going to be walking in between Craig Fact and Crib Gotch. Um, yeah, so be nice. Nice little uh, circular, I think we'll be joining back onto the Lambury because that is where I'm staying for the weekend. changes because it looks quite shit over there so I'm going to head down into the valley take it nice and steady from there woohoo chill out and yeah we've got is getting done this year definitely so I've wanted to do for a while so yeah Gonna and bought sausage cob and a bottle of coke to keep me going. Oh, I'm all ready for this. Mm. This is what I needed. Walking back with a view like this. Lovely stuff. Mmm. Slightly overpriced, but worth it. So basically, I'm just following this path next to the road all the way down to Lambury, and I'm going to think of some sort of plan of what to do today or later on because it's only 11 o'clock now. Um, yeah, I'm going to come up with some sort of plan. I might be to camp or not uh, on the way back to this little hotel home or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's just it's been a good day, caught some good weather. It's not been raining yet, <laughs> anyway. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed, it ain't going to rain. And I'll definitely 
pitch his tent up somewhere. Thanks for joining me on this little journey. Unfortunately, the weather took a turn that day, so I didn't camp, but I still had a cracking day. Stay tuned for more adventures.